Hi guys, I hope you are all doing great. I thought I would film a little bit early my February favorites. I mean, I guess I'll probably post it at an appropriate time, but it is still January right now. What am I talking about? It's not January, it's February. Uh, it is like the last weekend in February, and I know it's like such a short month, and it felt like this month was 10 years long. It just felt really long for some reason. Guys, I have so much in front of me and so much to talk to you guys about. There are so many good things like out right now that I've discovered that I just really got excited about filming this video. So I'm actually going to start with skincare first because that's something that I've been really, really liking this month and I've altered my skincare a little bit because I tend to be very loyal to skincare products. You know, if you have watched my channel for a while, you know what I use. Like I love the Sunday Riley Luna Oil. You know, I love the La Mer um, Illuminating Eye Gel. Like I love Kate Somerville. And you know, I tend to kind of stick to the same things and I swear, I still swear by the SkinCeutical CE Ferulic Serum and I'm not foreseeing changing that serum even though I'm gonna talk to you guys about a brand that has a really good vitamin C serum as well talk to you guys a little bit about drunk elephant and I have both the B Hydra intensive hydration gel and I also have the glycolic night serum the TLC see that properly oh I just recently got this in the mail actually like two days ago but I completely finished up the like small sample that I got from Sephora and I have never reacted so well to a product I ordered this immediately my best friend Monica also ordered a few drunk, drunk elephant things and she's been loving them as well I think it's a brand that can be great for a lot of different skin types and it's a kind of a limited brand for now I know they keep uh, kind of releasing newer skincare items here and there but you know basically I think they only have like 15 products right now or maybe less but this one I loved, it was actually during Christmas or I believe during the Sephora VIB sale, like right before December. So I picked up a, like a duo of the of this hydrogel and the vitamin C serum in the Isle of Doom of Sephora where they get you every time. So I fell in love with this gel and I remember being like, wow, this is amazing. Uh, it is definitely a moisturizer but however i would say i recommend this more for normal to oily skin types if you're dry i don't know if this will be enough moisture for your skin especially in the winter months but it is amazing i'm not super super oily i have definitely combination skin um, i get like an oily t-zone but the rest of my skin is pretty normal and like not problematic however this is just so phenomenal. You put it on, it's kind of cooling, so you can just like kind of rub it over your face. It really provides a gorgeous finish to your skin. Your skin looks hydrated, but not like overly dewy and like oily. And the moisturizer I was using before from Estee Lauder, the day wear, I like it a lot. However, I felt like I had to wait a long time to let it sink in because it is so oily. And, you know, when you're getting ready for work in the mornings, you don't want to be like waiting around and your foundation is smearing everywhere. So this is just amazing. It doesn't have SPF, so make sure that you are layering an SPF with this product. Uh, but I also have been using this like before I go out at night or something like that. Or I know I used this before I did my makeup for my cousin's wedding and last weekend uh, when uh, my dad had his restaurant opening, I used this as well. Uh, just like as a base layer and then I, I can use like a primer on top and it just hydrates your skin and lets your makeup just look gorgeous. I love this so much and I will be repurchasing this again. It is uh, 1.69 fluid ounces so even though it is big there's not a ton a ton of product in here just to keep that in mind. Um, and then this is just one fluid ounce but this is the uh, glycolic serum. I would say it's a little bit similar to the Sunday Riley Good Jeans, if you guys are familiar with that product. My skin looked like I had a brand new layer the next day. It is just an amazing serum and I've been loving using this every single night. It's a phenomenal product and it is perfect for the nighttime. This is for refining and retexturizing your skin. So these are just amazing. I'm definitely gonna be trying more things from Drunk Elephant. Their vitamin C serum is phenomenal. I just love the SkinCeuticals one and I like having that in my skincare 
regime because it is uh, medical grade. So I find that it is a lot more expensive. I believe it's like $100 more than this vitamin C serum from Junk Elephant or maybe like $80 more or something. But I still think I'm going to be repurchasing the SkinCeuticals just because my skin loves it. However, if you don't want to take the plunge on that SkinCeuticals one, the vitamin C serum from Drunk Elephant is also phenomenal and I love that. So a skin mist that I've been really liking is this one by Ren. It is the Flash Defense Anti-Pollution Mist for all skin types. And I can't really say it's doing anything except that I love the smell and it really kind of like refreshes and awakens your skin in the morning. It's a good size for traveling as well. It is 2.02 fluid ounces. So you can take this on the airplane if you're just carrying on a bag. I use this in the morning uh, right after like I wash my face. I will just spray this evenly and it will sink in and it feels so good. Uh, the closest product I could kind of think to this is the uh, Caudalie. I can't remember the name of it, the official name of that product, but it reminds me a lot of that. But I just like this one better. I like that it says anti-pollution. I mean, I don't really know if that's working or not, but I've been using this every single day and I like it. And um, I've been like, sorry, moving it around, but you know, it's I've used up to like there and I've had it since November and I've been using it like every day. I don't know why. I haven't talked about this, but it's a great facial mist if you want one in your routine. I think it just adds that special something to your skincare. This is a mask that I feel like I've talked about before in vlogs, but I just forgot, have been forgetting to mention it in Beauty Favorites, and it is by Skin SkinCeuticals. It is the Clarifying Clay Mask Deep Pore Cleansing Skin Refining Mask. So that is what that looks like and when I got a facial in Miami in December the esthetician who was doing my uh, facial recommended this to me and said you know this is something great for you that if you feel like you ever have like hormonal like breakouts or, or something like that it's a good clarifying mask for you to do once a week so that's what I've been doing and I love it I still it, it just my my hormonal breakouts um you know I'm pretty lucky knock on wood you know i I don't have problematic skin. I've always kind of had good skin. And so I don't want to promise any miracles, you know, from my experience. But however, if I do get like hormonal like breakouts right here in my chin, I know that it's because I'm not eating very healthy. Like if I have an indulgent weekend where I have a lot of cheese and wine and that type of stuff, then I will break out. Like come Monday, I'm like have all these breakouts but if I'm eating healthy and eating a lot of uh, fruits and vegetables and like you know not drinking a lot of wine then my skin is like super clear it's, isn't that funny how skin works <laughs> this is great in case you do have an indulgent weekend which I always you know here and there you have to do that um, but it's an amazing mask uh, you can see it's a very thick consistency so a little goes a long way and what I like to do with this product actually is since I don't really have any problems except I'll do this like on like my pore area like right here and my chin and I'll multi mask with like a hydrating or um, like resurfacing or calming mask on the other side of the other sides of my face like my forehead and my cheeks uh, so I don't want to completely dry my skin out um, when my you know when I use this this is a phenomenal mask it clears out your pores like no other leaves your skin looking gorgeous and refreshed and so smooth too. Um, a close second to this, and I've talked so much about this one too, is the Origins Resurfacing Mask. That one is amazing too. And that one I use all over my face um, since it's not as abrasive as this. And I use that again probably like once a week or maybe every other week depending on how my skin is feeling that week. So that was basically all the skincare. I will quickly talk about this. And I don't know why I haven't been talking about it. It is the Ultra Repair Cream from First Aid Beauty. I am, it's literally almost an empty and I'm going to film an empties right after this. And I was like, oh my God, I don't know why I haven't talked about this. This is a phenomenal, phenomenal moisturizing body lotion for uh, the winter, any dry areas, any eczema patches. I love this. I kind of exclusively use this on my legs and that is where I have a little bit of eczema and an area that gets really dry on my body, especially in the winter months. But this is just like a lifesaver. It's amazing. And I did get this at Ulta and it is the, uh, it's like the scented one, vanilla citron. And I know there is an unscented one. 
I hope this wasn't just like a holiday thing because I got it around the holidays and I really like the scent and I like things that are scented. I don't really like unscented things. So that is all the skincare that I wanted to talk to you guys about. Two quick, I'm like Oprah, two quick things. <laughs> Two quick things um, for hair that I want to talk to you guys about. This is the Amika Silken Up Dry Conditioner. I love this. First of all, the scent is heavenly. So even if it doesn't do anything else but provide an amazing scent to your hair, then I will still get it. A dry conditioner to refresh and revive for all hair types. So um, it's a little sample size. I actually, it was a 500 point perk at Sephora. So I just kind of take it and this, I'm on second day hair with dry shampoo and everything. And this adds like a really nice um, kind of like shine, sheen and softness to the hair. I love this and I've, this little travel size has been holding up pretty well, but I will definitely be repurchasing this once I run out of this little size. I love it. Another hair thing is this oil by Living Proof. It is the nourishing oil. I ran out of my oil uh, recently. What was I using before? By, oh, the Way, the Way one, which I hands down like the Living Proof one more than the Way one. This scent is so important. It could be like a miracle worker and it could be like I have, have the best hair day, but if I don't like how the product smells, it's like, ugh, I don't know. It didn't smell bad, really granny and floral, and I didn't like that. So uh, I don't know if you guys experienced that with the, that Way product. And, there, and the other Way products don't smell like that, so I don't know why. That one did, but that was why I didn't repurchase that one. But it smells so good. It's probably like these two things are the most amazing hair smelling things ever. You guys need to try them or at least just like try them in Sephora if you ever see them there and you guys will fall in love with the scent. This, I, I use this on dry and damp hair. So um, I'll add this on my ends if I have dry hair or if I like, you know, I'm on second day hair and have to restyle it or something when I'm done, I will just add this on the ends and it provides that really nice, like kind of just polish to the ends of your hair. And I use this um, in conjunction with the Bumble and Bumble or blow dry repair cream that I use every single time I wash my hair. And I will just do like a kind of like a cocktail of that. It's like a smoothing and preventative product with this and it makes your hair so smooth and manageable, shiny, and gorgeous. So highly recommend this oil and the Amika um, Silken Up Dry Conditioner. But guys, I feel like this video is gonna be so long and I was like, oh, it's gonna be so short. Never, never, never. You know when you have are watching a one of my videos, you're in for 20 minutes at least. Sorry. <laughs> Here's a product by Kylie Cosmetics. So I'm gonna jump in to makeup. I've had a pretty good experience with Kylie Cosmetics. I really like her matte lipsticks her lip glosses too i have candy k and i love that one her liners are really really good they're much better quality than i would say mac liners and i finally bit the bullet and got one of her eyeshadow palettes my friend stephanie had ordered the bronze palette back a few months ago and she was like pam it is so good like you need to try one so i thought the bronze palette like is so dupable for my collection since i love bronzy and like natural shades. So that's why I decided to go with the burgundy palette. So this is the burgundy palette. I've been using it a lot. It is extremely, extremely high quality shadows. I would compare them to Anastasia shadows or Max shadows. They are so pigmented and gorgeous. And this is a beautiful palette that you can really travel with. It has um, one, two, three, four, five, five mattes. Yeah. And I haven't really used these like really like berry shades, but the other shades like are just so gorgeous, guys. They are beautiful, beautiful, a versatile palette, and I like that it's travel friendly and compact. And if you're trying out the Kylie Cosmetics, then I think the eyeshadow palettes are definitely a good product. I know that a lot of people won't shop Kylie because of the whole Kardashian thing. For me, I mean, yeah, like it's annoying. I'm like, am I really gonna make this, you know, 18 year old billionaire a trillionaire or whatever? I really like this and I definitely wanted to mention it because it's something I've been using like almost every day. This is a beautiful matte shade right here, which is called Beach. Yeah. Another quick eye thing is this Eyes to Mesmerize by Charlotte Tilbury. It is a gorgeous cream shadow. I love this. I remember MAC 
used to have a product kind of like this and I loved it. This is a gorgeous shade. It's Marie Antoinette. It's something I definitely want to repurchase in other shades. So easy to use. I don't have it on today. I don't know why. I, I like was doing my makeup and then I decided I was going to film. So I use like the, the Master Palette by Mario today. But this is so good. I have shown it in vlogs before and I just love how this looks and it's really easy to use on the eyelids. I just kind of take a very small amount of flat shader brush, apply it over the lid and then do a little bit of crease with like a matte brown or light brown or whatever. Like love that product so, so, so much. I don't tend to talk a lot about drugstore products on my channel. It's just that my skin doesn't get along very well with with drugstore products. However, this is something that I love and everyone needs to get it because it is like $5 and it's such an amazing product. It is the e.l.f. Cream Contour Palette and it's so nice because look at how big that mirror is. Oh, hi. <laughs> so I travel with this all the time. I mean, even just comparing it to the Kylie Palette, like the Kylie Palette does not have a mirror. So that is something that I find kind of annoying about that. But this has a huge mirror and it's a really nice quality mirror. When I travel, like if I'm at a hotel or something and um, they don't, I, I want to do my makeup like at a desk instead of like in that horrible like fluorescent lighting in those bathrooms. Uh, I just take this and I do my makeup and it's big enough and it's so nice and travel friendly and I love these cream contour. I do I did use it today to contour um, my cheeks and my nose a little bit, but they're really high quality. I think it's amazing and it's such a good deal. I originally heard about this through Laura Lee on YouTube, so I credit her for um, letting me branch out of the drugstore and try some things. Another drugstore thing, and I've been using this like every single day, it's the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in Ash Brown. It is a complete dupe for the Anastasia Brow Wiz, and I love it. It just gives your brows what you need. You know, it's really skinny. It is $10, so it's significantly less than the Anastasia ones. I do set it with the Benefit Ready Set Brow. You can get it at your local Target or Ulta. This is another product that is totally like hyped up, but it is an amazing concealer. It's the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I ordered it from their website, the Tarte Cosmetics website, and this is in the color Light. I do have it on today. Kind of apply it in like a a V shape underneath my eyes and then I will use a beauty blender to blend this in. I find that it's super 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 pigmented so a little goes a very long way so the first time I used it I was like adding all this concealer and then it was like I ended up looking like a ghost because the product spread everywhere so just keep that in mind. I feel like the opening of it is really weird and also the dofa applicator is large so i end up like scraping all the product on the sides so that you don't have all this product on there because it's kind of like the packaging's fault that you're going to use a lot i think that the packaging could be improved honestly but i do really like this in case you guys wanted to try it it's hyped up for a reason it is an amazing concealer i would say it's kind of like the nars Creamy Radiant Concealer at a better price. That one would crease on me sometimes, and this one, it like doesn't crease, and it looks like your under eyes are just flawless and highlighted. I've also been setting my foundation with this amazing, amazing Laura Mercier powder. Uh, this is a Makeup by Tiffany D recommendation. It is the Candle Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder in number two. Uh, I th think she has the number one. I'm a little bit darker, so I did the number two, and it is flawless. I'm obsessed with this powder. It gives your skin the most radiant, perfect set. Like, like it's it, it adds a little bit to your skin. Like, I don't know how to describe it. Sorry, my brushes are on the floor, but... Um, I do have it on today and I've talked about it in vlogs before, but I, I love this. It's the perfect, perfect setting powder. I know a lot of people have compared it to, you know, the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders, but I find those are a little bit too shimmery. This does have that glow to it, but it's a little bit better for setting, if you can see. Like once you put it on your skin, it doesn't give like a any shine it doesn't have any glitter particles or anything like that so I love this it's an amazing powder Laura Mercier just gets powders right like that's her strong suit like I love 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 the powders from Laura Mercier uh, this is the Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk lipstick my favorite lip liner ever is the Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk and 
I don't know. I feel like so many people talk, have been talking about that recently. I've gone through like three pillow talks and it is amazing. It's like the best liner ever. I remember when Amelia Liana talked about it like, I guess like four years ago, like when I first started watching her or like three and a half years ago. And I remember I went to Selfridges in London. This was back before Charlotte Tilbury was readily available in the States. And I got like the Dolce Vita palette and the Pillow Talk liner, like so crazy, such a long time ago. That was in 2000, okay, well I guess 2014. Let's give you a quick swatch. Oh my God, it is the Matte Revolution formula, which is the best formula. I have Bond Girl and Very Victoria as well from this lipstick um, formula from Charlotte Tilbury. I love this. I would say it's um your perfect like everyday shade for your lips. I've been carrying this around in my in my purse every day. What I have on my lips today, and I know I talked about this lip product in January favorites in a different color, but it's the Marc Jacobs, what are these called? Um, liquid Lip Cream in Hot Cocoa. So that's what I'm wearing on my lips today. And I'll give you a quick little swatch. These are amazing. They're so easy to wear and long wearing, but they're not going to dry your lips out or give you like a cakey look to your lips or anything like that. They're really easy to wear and it feels like you don't have anything on your lips. I love, love, love these lip products. So last but not least, this is a Dior lip product that I love all of their different lip products. I love the uh, lip maximizer, the lip glow, the um, creme de rose. I just love Dior lip products. And this is the, their one of their latest launches, the Lip Sugar Scrub. And I use this, um, I got it very recently, but it's a very interesting product. I know e.l.f. has something kind of similar, so I'd be interested in comparing that one to this one. But it is a lip balm that has a, like scrubby particles in it. It's really cool. It really makes your lips very moisturized, but um, it kind of takes away that dead skin off of your lips. So I use this in the morning, uh, right after when I'm doing my skincare routine, I'll apply this. And I might be crazy guys, but I swear, because you're rubbing your, your lips a little bit, I swear it kind of plumps your lips. I swear, I don't know. I just feel like it plumps mine at least. So take that with a grain of salt because I don't know, I feel like I swear by that Dior lip maximizer as well. Like I feel like it gives your lips a lot of volume and the same thing with this one. Uh, I apologize for always taking up a lot of your time. It really means a lot to me that you guys sit down and watch my videos. I've gotten a few new subscribers lately, so I really appreciate it. Love to see some recommendations from you guys of what types of videos you guys wanna see. I know I love doing the vlogs and you guys really, really like them. Uh, however, I like doing other types of videos too, more informative, maybe a little bit more organized, something like this or you know, products I've used up. But there's so many things out there that I tend to just get overwhelmed. Sometimes I end up not filming because I'm like, I don't even know what you guys wanna see from me. Uh, favorites are always something I like to look back on and I know a lot of people like them. I know a lot of people don't like them, but favorites are something I still wanna keep in my channel and I asked you guys back in December if you wanted to keep seeing them and a lot of you guys said yes. So I really appreciate you guys um, watching and um, just kind of being there and being so sweet and nice to me. It, sometimes I, I tend to forget since I'm not such a huge YouTuber and obviously this is not my full-time job or anything like that. However, I don't ever want it to seem that I take you all for granted because it means so much to me and all of your comments make my day. Like even if you just leave me like an Instagram comment or a question or something, I'm just like, oh, like that's so nice. I don't know. Like I, I, I really like it and I have kind of made it a choice to kind of like put more videos out this year. This video is 37 minutes long, so I need to be quiet. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys another day. Bye.